Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this beam using Clapeyron's theorem of three moments. Before analyzing, let us see the beam one time. In this beam, there is a span AB. Also, there is an overhanging span BC. In the span AB, there is a point load 50 kN acting on the center. In the overhanging span BC, there is a uniformly distributed load 20 kN per meter. In the point A, there is a fixed support. In the point B, there is a hinged support. Span AB is 4 meter long. The overhanging span BC is 3 meter long. In this beam, we can easily calculate MB because after the point B there is overhanging. To find MB, we have to calculate moment about B from the point C. In BC, there is uniformly distributed load 20 kN per meter and length of BC is 3 meter. So, to calculate the moment about B, we have to multiply the load with the distance and distance by 2. We know that in the case of UDL, we have to multiply the distance and distance by 2 with the load. When we do that, we are getting MB which is equal to minus 90 kN meter. We must note that in case of overhanging, we have to apply the load values always negative. Because of that, we are getting a negative value. We have already calculated the moment in the point B, MB. So, we are not going to consider the overhanging anymore. Now, the number of moments to be found is equal to 1, that is MA. To calculate this moment, we need one equation. Using two spans, we can make one equation. Now, we are not considering the overhanging span. In this case, now there is only one span, but we need one more. So, we have to make an imaginary span on left of A. You can see that I have made an imaginary span on left of A. The span is A, A0. It is having the length of L0. Now, let us take the spans A0A and AB and make the equation and find the moment. First, let us calculate the ordinate for AB. In AB, there is a point load 50 kN acting on the center. The formula to calculate the ordinate is WL upon 4. Here, W is 50, L is 4. When we apply the values inside the formula, we are getting 50. Using that, we can make this diagram. Now, let us apply the theorem of three moments in spans A0A and AB. In this equation, we have to find A1 and X bar right. Area 1, we can easily calculate. This is a triangle. We know the formula for the area of a triangle. Half into breadth into height. Here, breadth is 4, height is 50. After applying the values inside the formula, we are getting 100. Now, let us calculate x bar right. This is a symmetrical triangle. So, the centroid lies in the center. The centroid distance towards the right is 4 upon 2. We will get 2. Now, in this equation, let us apply the values. L0 is equal to 0, L1 is equal to 4, area 1 is equal to 100, x bar right is equal to 2. Let us apply all of the values. This term and this term will be 0 because these are for the imaginary span. We have already calculated the value of MB which is equal to minus 90. After the calculations, we are getting MA. 
which is equal to 7.5 kN meter. Alternatively, using the formula, we can calculate 6A x bar right upon L. The formula is WB upon L into L square minus B square. Here, W is 50, L is 4, B is 2. When we apply the values inside the formula, we are getting 300. Let us apply that. So, using the formula, we can easily calculate MA. Now, we are going to calculate the reactions. We are going to take the whole beam and calculate the reactions. For MA, we got a positive value. So, it will be acting in the clockwise direction. MB will be acting in both of the directions. So, it will be eliminated. In this case, no need to consider MB when we calculate reactions. First, I am going to calculate RA. For that, I am going to take moment about B. In this case, I am moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. RA is acting towards the point B in the clockwise direction. So, it will be positive and the distance is 4. So, 4 RA. The point load 50 kN is acting towards the point B in the anticlockwise direction. So, it will be negative and the distance is 2. So, minus 50 into 2. This UDL is acting towards the point B in the clockwise direction. So, it will be positive. When the UDL comes, we have to multiply with the distance and distance by 2. This movement is acting in the clockwise direction. So, it is positive. Finally, we are getting RA which is equal to 0 0.625 kN. Now, to calculate RB, let us apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0. RA and RB are acting upwards. So, both of them will be positive. The point load 50 kN and UDL 20 kN per meter are acting downwards. So, both of them will be negative. We have already calculated RA. Let us apply that. Finally, we are getting RB. Now, we are going to draw the CFOs diagram. Before drawing the diagram, let us calculate the shear force values. I am going to start from the point A and move towards the point C. In this case, I am moving towards right hand side. Upwards will be positive and downwards will be negative. Using that, we can calculate the shear force values. Using the values, we can make the shear force diagram. Now, let us make the free movement diagram. We don't have to make the free movement diagram in the overhanging span. Only in the span AB, we have to make the free movement diagram. For drawing the free movement diagram, we have to assume the span AB as a separate assembly supported beam and calculate the ordinate. In this analysis, we have already calculated the ordinate. Using that, we can make this diagram. Using the end movements, we can make the end movement diagram. Then, we have to combine both of the diagrams to get the bending movement diagram. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.